Live from Los Angeles, welcome back to Good Morning Lala. We're talking about the universal law of perception. And some of the greatest things that have helped us expand our perception is TV shows and actors and actresses and all the stories here in Hollywood. So we have Brie Clauser in the house. She is an actress, singer, voice actor, and you have a new show on Apple TV for C. Tell us all about it. Yes. So C is a world-building drama of sorts, uh, starring Jason Momoa and Alfre. It's just incredible to work with them. Um, it takes place 600 years in the future. Whoa. And there is a virus that wipes out most of humanity and leaves everyone who is left without sight. And the story revolves around this tribe where Jason's character is the leader of. And there are these babies born who happen to be born with sight. And this is forbidden and there's prophecies and it's... Wow. It, the it's the whole point is sounds like today yeah mm. <laughs> touche yeah but what's so interesting is that uh, for six hundred years since humanity has been without sight the world has kind of healed and we're in this kind of naturalistic setting with relics of our modern world and it's interesting to see how people have evolved uh, certain characters in the show I play a a warrior character who was part of the tribe named Matal, and she has a uh, foresight ability. She's an uh, empath of mm. sorts, but they, they call it a pre-sage. Wow. And there are other characters in the show with so other cool. extra sensory oh, abilities. Because we love those. And it, it makes you think this might actually happen, maybe in the dis it's not just science fiction, well, maybe in the distant future, who knows, people will like, evolve their ses senses. I mm. hope so. Yeah. Let's take a look at the trailer for Apple TV's <laughs> yeah. C. The moment has come. Centuries from now, almost all humans have lost the ability to see. Some say sight was taken from them by God. To heal the earth. For the few who remain, Vision is only a myth. I have to keep you safe. The moment has come. It's astonishing how the smallest moment can change an entire world. So I'm buying Sign my tickets today. Me up. today. I'm buying my tickets. I have an, uh, I have $4.99 a month. Right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Yes, exactly. Less than a cup of coffee, it, right? <laughs> it's not there. Exactly. Yeah. So I had um, an uncle. Uh, he made a transition. But it's interesting. When he lost his sight in real life, it's, his spiritual wisdom seemed to grow. And we would always mm -hmm. joke, oh, my uncle Leslie, he walks by faith, not by sight. Mm. Right? And I wonder, in your life, in your experience, has that been part of your journey and part of the key that's led to your success in Hollywood? Well, I was born visually impaired. I identify as low vision, but technically I'm considered legally blind, which is a fancy word for can't drive a car. <laughs> um, it, it, for everyone else's safety and my own. Um, and so I only I only know my own reality and my own perception, but I'm, I was very lucky to have a mother who never saw me as a disabled child mm -hmm. and she's very spiritual and she he, she has been through a lot of hardship um she has um she was a nurse's aide growing up until she got sick and uh, she has a form of vasculitis that has first affected her brain and mm -hmm. her entire body but doctors have told her she only had 10 years to live and now it's 20 years later wow. so and i i attribute to this to her sheer willpower not as just a mother but a human being yeah. And she instilled that in both me and my older brother, who actually has the same condition. It's called achromatopsia. It's a one out of 30,000 chances of a wow. like inherited yeah. type of thing. As a doctor of interview, we yeah. say, you know, listen to the diagnosis, but not the prognosis, because yeah. there is a possibility, which is the power of mind, the power of healing, and also. So tell us, we think, we, we often say that acting is one of the highest forms a profession because it really is the the, uh, the ultimate way of having an expression of different identities. How? What other roles have you played? What is there a particular role that you'd love to play for a particular identity? Oh well, I I do like the idea of 
accurately representing people mm -hmm. who are low vision, but as an actor, I don't want to be limited. Mm -hmm. And I, I really do love science fiction mm -hmm. and I love comedy. My, 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 I love that Star Trek is coming back. And I'm like, you know, I have the right eyes to be a Betazoid. <laughs> <laughs> just say you're gonna go yeah, and manifest just that. Just Patrick yes. Stewart. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually my neighbor. Wow. He's in Park Slope with me. So, That's so awesome. Yeah, but I, um, I came from a theater background, and mm -hmm. this is actually like my on-camera debut. So it was so exciting to be in such a huge project directed by Francis Lawrence, who has set the bar so high for so directors. Beautiful. He is Amazing. so patient and organized, and he he listens. Like, he, um, Marilee Talkington and I, who you'll meet later, uh, we are one of only two recurring characters who are actually low vision in this show. Mm -hmm. And all, all of that I've heard is that everyone has really appreciated our presence on set because we're teaching them not necessarily how to be blind, because you can't, I'm sorry, you can't teach that. <laughs> it's a right. lived experience, yeah. just like you know, everyone's own spirituality. Everyone right. brings their own lived experience. But the the authenticity of, of re representing what this is like, and uh, Francis and the whole team, they, were, they really listened to us as far as how to respect this community and how to use respectful mm -hmm. language and uh, it was it was just such a gift to Love work with all these well, wonderful creatives. We see you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you for all your work and all your art that you're bringing to the world. Thank you so yeah. much. How do people find and follow your personal journey? Uh, you can find me on Instagram at Brie Clouser, Brie with two E's, Clouser with a K, or find me on BrieClouser.com. And make sure to watch see on Apple TV Plus. It comes out November first. Uh, it's only on Apple TV Plus, only four ninety nine a month. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much. Stay tuned. We'll be back with more in Good Morning Wildlands. <laughs>